take his name, uh, you do it with a certain reverence. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, the, the answer is there in front of you. I mean, the company has grown 25% in enterprise value terms. Uh, uh, you know, yes, from whatever murmurs, I'm as, in, as informed as anyone else because they are so secretive and for right reasons about what they do. But when you talk about that, let me throw a little analogy for you. You know, in December of 2007, it's a company called Nokia, which had at that time an enterprise value of 192 billion. At that time, Apple had an enterprise value as a company of 65 billion dollars. As of today, Apple has an enterprise value of 560 billion dollars, and Nokia has an enterprise value of six and a half billion dollars. Now you're talking of almost a trillion dollar shift in five years of what has happened. So, you know, this is, this is, it's the Mario game, you know, who, who sees it, plays in a certain form or whatever, yeah, it's, it's, it's a reality. Second one was you spoke of uh, you're working with Intel. You being a primarily software company, right? How and where do you work with Intel? We've actually launched a product uh, with them, which is called Bustop, which is basically a it's a very very intelligent platform, which starts with the PC domain and uh, kind of it's it's what we are calling as new generation signature browsing. We put on top of that about 120 content partners. So you can customize. Uh, you know, what you want, your sport, your financial services, news, entertainment, whatever it is. And you can do your core browsing, it moves the browser up by half an inch. The bottom portion is a very highly widgetized platform, which, which is always on. So, in, in it will be netbooks, ultrabooks, it's in the core and the atom processor family, so across the range of, yeah, uh, sorry, the, the first thing you said was? Uh, no, I mean, you have to, it is, there is politicking associated with these things because ultimately uh, Spectrum is a, and you know what, there are some of the newer, I mean, if you were to just go and Google something called as white spaces, uh, the technical term of white spaces is, uh, you know, the broadcast industry also takes Spectrum. So when you have, when you have, uh, uh, let's say a film is coming, it's, let's say if it's 24 frames per second, uh, at the end of each frame there's a little micro space which is left, which separates. Now, they say there's research going on that if we were to just narrow down to that space, there will be so much spectrum available for the rest of the world. So that's a whole different paradigm that's happening. There is currently research happening which technically may even make 4G and whatever redundant because there will be and I'm hoping as a consumer for you know a broader ecosystem that it does happen in that manner. So India is just not playing its cards right in, in unlocking a lot of this is, is what I, we can take it offline a little bit. Uh, what was the thing that you were doing with India once again? That it's called bus stop. Um, we have one last question uh, for you. Yeah, please. One on one. Can I have half a minute of your time? One on one. Um, we have a as a token of appreciation uh, for Neeraj. On his behalf, we have donated a small amount to the midday meal scheme, and uh, uh, here's a small letter for that. Thank you, Neeraj. Thanks a lot for your time.